Hello everyone, how you guys doing? Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day and today we are here with a video on whether or not rigor is worth it to use when training a range in old school runescape. A question I've asked myself for quite a while but figure I would flesh out fully in uh, an Excel doc that I would share the answers with for you guys. So that is the plan. Hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do, make sure to leave a like. Obviously, you know, a lot of work went into this but at the end of the day, I have fun with it and uh, figure, you know, it can help out a lot of people at the same time. So I'm pretty pumped to share what I have found with you guys in terms of what I had done for the video today where we will start. The comparison is just Rigor versus No Prayer. Rigor, if you don't know, is the best range boosting prayer in old school RuneScape. So I will be comparing Rigor versus people that are using No Prayer at all. You might say, why not add Eagle Eye? Um, uh, because the results will show you that there is no need for it. So that is the answer to that. Uh, in terms of what things I will be comparing or what monsters I'll be using, I'll be basing this off Slayer tasks because I do think personally that a lot of people should train their combat stats through slayers so i think it's the most applicable and bosses you know you might think why don't i show it at some bosses bosses have so much variance just an insane amount every boss is extremely different every boss has you know different levels at which you can do that boss which affects all of these amounts of times the inventories are different your kills an hour are going to be wildly different i mean the profit as well is going to highly outweigh the negatives of using rigor so it's just so much more work and as we'll come to find out probably not needed either so it's just extremely hard to do and every boss is going to be wildly different this is more meant to be a general comparison not a really niche thing for tons and tons of different things because that's just far too much i mean <laughs> as we'll come to find it, it's probably not needed again the setups in terms of what i'll be comparing the lower tier setup is an 80 range setup 80 range about the lowest in my mind people would be getting the dex prayer school for rigor the dex prayer school is currently about 26 mil so rigor is pretty expensive to unlock however at 80 range i'd imagine this is about the lowest setup anyone with rigor is probably going to be rocking uh so i feel like it's a really justifiable one to use and then at 95 range it's kind of more along the lines of a max setup for range uh which will give us an idea as far as what the higher levels can expect all the way up at the top so moving on to the xp per hour um at 80 range with rigor as you can tell most of these numbers lie between low 90s to to uh, mid 100s and 100 and zeros I, I don't know exactly how I'm supposed to say that but you get the idea about a about a 19k uh, 17k range in total as far as those are concerned and then without rigor the XP rates obviously drop pretty drastically uh, anywhere from 68k to 88k so 28 or 20k range there and obviously just a pretty significant drop overall in terms of uh, going from rigor to no rigor. So that is where the XP per hours lie for the lower level setups. As far as the high level setup, you can see that with rigor, you can expect a lot more XP, which is pretty obvious, you know, higher level, that's how it works. But the lowest XP per hour, again, is Abyssal Demons on the right, top right, uh, next to Bloodfelds, and then Bloodfelds are actually the highest XP per hour. So that gives us a nice uh, range there. Um, and obviously you can see it's 17K. So not, again, too big of a range in total. The reason I think the range kind of lessens at the higher levels is because because of accuracy in old school runescape uh, it's going to be less affected by the prayer because you'll already be more likely to hit so that is probably why that is and then if we go down to the xp per hour without rigor you can see that again it's a pretty significant drop off but it's about the same drop off as before just numerically um, proportionally it's less of a drop off and again i think that's because of accuracy um, you're naturally going to be more accurate so it's accuracy boosting abilities aren't going to help you as much but the damage is still still going to be there so um, looking at that again a decent drop off but not as drastic as we saw with the 80 range setup so breaking this all down into minutes saved essentially if you did one hour with rigor how many minutes would you save yourself so say for instance at the top left with 80 range it says 16 minutes for greater demons that means if you did one hour with rigor you'd have to do 76 minutes without it so that's how I found that minute saved number and this allows me to break all of my other stats down into a minute by minute 
minute basis so then I can get it into an hourly form. So kind of useful stuff. As you can tell here on the top, this is more of what we saw before, just the uh, proportional difference at 80 range being more significant than at 95. Then as far as the cost per hour um, with the blowpipe and adamant darts, it is 435K with rigor as well, it moves up to 630K. And we do have to remember that if you, you know, those extra minutes matter because that's more time you're going to be using the regular blowpipe. So for instance, 60 minutes with rigor is 630K, but again, if you don't use rigor, you're gonna have to go for 76 minutes at 435K an hour. So that isn't a set cost, that scales depending on how much extra time you have to spend. So that is a factor that the first time around when I was recording this, I did not consider. I since found my mistake and reconsidered it, and the stats are gonna be crazy. So an assumption that I've made previously because I did a video on it is that it is worth it to upgrade from a magic short bow imbued to a toxic blowpipe if you can make 1.3 mil per hour so if if any and that's just kind of my magical worth it number it just where I throw a bunch of stats together to be able to come up with what is just one round number that kind of summarizes everything so if the worth it number for rigor is less than 1.3 mil an hour if you can justify using a blowpipe then you can justify using rigor by that same kind of basis and this is how much money you can make at any outside money making method so most people at 80, 85, 90 range, you're going to be able to make this at Revs or Venonatus or Zora or Vorkath. They're just tons of different places, but you can probably make this. So uh, it makes the blowpipe worth it, and it probably is going to make rigor worth it as we scroll on here. So now moving on to the final magic worth it number, uh, throw them up on screen and all of these numbers are extremely low. I mean, I can run through them a little bit, but you get the idea. Rigor is absolutely insane. As far as how much money you would need to make on a side money maker per hour to make the upgrade to Rigor worth it, all of these numbers are extremely low. You can basically make this without anything in your bank. So I don't know if I need to delve into it too much. As far as the zeros, that essentially means that having rigor is actually a benefit because you save money on extra darts, extra scales, and you get extra drops. All three of these monsters with gargoyles, necreals, and abyssal demons are extremely profitable uh, in regards to slayers. So they are going to be worth it there. And elsewhere, I mean, the, you can tell like at 80 range, it is extremely, extremely worth it because whenever you're lower level like I've been mentioning through this video your accuracy increases along with your damage uh, proportionally better than at a later level where accuracy isn't going to matter as much so yeah I mean honestly these numbers were really really surprising for me I expected this to be a video where you know maybe at some places it's worth it maybe at some it's not but that's the joy in doing all this is that you know things that I have apparently absolutely no clue about um, I can start to find out the answers and share them with you guys of course so apparently you should be using rigor essentially everywhere you go the prayer is OP as can be and that is why I decided not to compare it to Eagle Eye because after seeing these numbers I mean, my goodness, it, it really doesn't need to be done. These And remember, the magic number for the blowpipe was 1.3 mil. Like, these are nowhere near that. So that's just a gimme. Throw on rigor whenever you're doing Slayer, and you're going to be having yourself a better time, uh, no doubt. And it's just going to save you time that you can spend doing something else, like bossing, uh, several different money makers through skilling, or just whatever miscellaneous stuff you like doing in the game. You know, time is money, and at the end of the day, if you can save yourself some time, if I can help save you, it's definitely the way to go. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, Make sure to leave a like. Anything you want to tell me, let me know in a comment down below. Anything you want me to compare, I would love to hear it. And if you guys want to see more videos like this as soon as I go live, make sure to subscribe. But with that said, hopefully you guys have a wonderful day and uh, peace.